coming at you from 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 good old McFarland, Wisconsin. And um, you may be asking, what's so good about McFarland? Well, for one thing, <laughs> these guys, Head War. I got them joining me for a fun-filled interview. We're gonna find out exactly what they're all about. So we've got Dalton, we've got oh, Sam. Sam. We got Dalton, Sam, and Gavin. All band, all the band members of Head War. Um, it started off as me. I pre I've been playing guitar for a number of years, so I kind of I was just playing random stuff up until kind of I hit a stretch of early grunge. I like the energy and the whole scene in general, and I. Uh, so I just kind of took that and ran with it. Started writing stuff that kind of emulated that. Yeah, I wrote a set of songs, and recorded them myself before we even got together. And uh, that's actually all the stuff that's on Spotify right now. Um, and then after that, uh, I kind of came together with Sam, who I've been friends with for a number of years as well. And then later on, we were introduced to Gavin through another band friend of ours from Flying Fuzz, Benson. And so since then, we've kind of just been meeting up and jamming on that type of stuff. Hey, that's that's pretty fantastic, I gotta say. Um, you know, amazing origin story right there. So obviously, your influences are more the uh, Seattle grunge sound almost, you know, kind of like early Nirvana, more kind of like you know, mud honey, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. But um, what are your guys' influences? Because I see the shirts, and, well, <laughs> I get a feeling that you guys come from a more metal background. Yeah, well, I love I love early grunge and stuff, too, but for my drumming, I take a lot more influence from the hardcore punk, honestly, like Minor Threat, Bad Brains, and some heavier stuff. Death metal and grind. Me and me and Dalton were actually in a metal band before this, a thrash metal band called Hate Fuel. I like a lot of different kinds of metal music. I got a playlist with over 400 songs, but wow, I love thrash metal. It's my favorite genre. I like playing fast, all the complex stuff. I love Megadeth, I like Metallica. They're the first band I ever listened to back in like eighth grade. As That's, a baby metal that hit. would be a lot of people's first bands. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Um, you know, of course, my first band has was the Beatles. <laughs> Not metal, but influential to metal, I might say. Um, tell me, I mean, are you you guys have written like uh, what ten songs now? Um, what songs are you the most proud of so far, and which ones do you think could use a little more work? Uh, I guess to this point, the ones we're most proud of, uh, at least me personally, the. Uh, it's like Burnt Out, which we played for you guys, and uh, yeah, I'd say. For me, my the song I'm most proud of is uh, it's called Dirt House, and it's not on Spotify yet, but when I play that song, I go into a frenzy, like, it's so, it's so cool. Fast shit. Yeah, um, when it comes to, like, writing lyrics, um, do you base them on your own personal experiences, stuff that goes on in the world? I mean, I kind of started writing this type of music um, almost to have an outlet for different things I was feeling and just stuff going on in the world. Just kind of an outlet for anger and thoughts. Anger. <laughs> um, I mean, they can, we have an inst, uh, have a band Instagram. Mm -hmm. also have, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Band Instagram, just head war. Do you have a name for your fans yet? Not yet. <laughs> no fans yet. <laughs> Dalton's parents. You got Hopefully Max. That story behind the name. What is uh, this? Well, I kind of had a few names bouncing around in my head, and head war just kind of seemed most fitting for how I kind of try to write songs. Angst. All that. Teenage angst <laughs> all put into one, which kind of just seemed like the best description. Yeah. 
some so sometimes shit feels like a war inside your head, like suicidal tendencies put it in internal conflict. Yeah. And we sure. use the, yeah. we use the music to kind of let it out, let it out of our heads. Hey man, that's what music's all about. Sure. Now hopefully, if there are any promoters, especially around the Madison area, that are watching this, by all means, please, uh, you know, check these guys out. Wrapping this up, I wanna I wanna ask about the uh, guitar brands that you guys have there. Um, explain the explain what they are and what the history is. Uh, this is a Gibson SG Special, I think. It's uh, I got this. I don't even remember when I got this. I've had this guitar for about as long as I can remember. This is like the first. Actually, no, I had a Fender before this, but this is the second like real guitar that I've had and I I don't know, I just love Gibsons and just how they sound and like humbuckers just have the best sound to me so. this is my Ibanez SR250 it's like the second bass I ever got I drooled over this thing for a year and a half in photos just worked my ass off so I could get it had this thing for about three years now it's got wow. active humbucker pickups kind of wish it didn't that passive sounds a lot old school it's better <laughs> but make do with what you got that's good advice all around well well i want to i want to thank you guys for taking the time out to talk to us thank to you. me for the of course metal max i look forward to hearing more of you guys in the very near future you know check these guys out they're on spotify they're on instagram and i want to say Again, it's been a pleasure. Um, I'm sure you guys will uh, will no doubt be uh, rocking out really hard in the, uh, well, hopefully for a very long time. So, All right. This is Metal Max, and um, we've been talking with Head War. The perfect ending, folks. It's like a mosh pit on a trampoline. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Oh,